Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. This one's gonna be a bit quick, I'm working on some other videos right now, but I just had to pop in, get a video out for you guys today, because we just got our first look at the fourth Tales from the Pizzaplex book. And this might be one of the most interesting covers we've ever had for a FNAF book. It sure as hell's got me excited. And if you're excited, please hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time. And subscribing to this very channel is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in FNAF. So very quickly, what is Tales from the Pizzaplex? What are the other books in the series about? When are they coming out? Well, just like the Fazbear Fright series, the books in Tales from the Pizzaplex all contain three separate stories. And also a prologue story story at the very end that connects all the stories together in some way. Though what's different about Tales from the Pizzaplex is that they somehow connect back to Security Breach or the Mega Pizzaplex, and that's why it's so interesting to theorize about what the stories of Tales from the Pizzaplex are going to be about. So far, we have five confirmed books in the Tales from the Pizzaplex book series. The first one, Lally's Game, comes out in a few days actually on July 19th. Some secrets are better left hidden. A forbidden artifact from her fiance's past beckons to Selena. Jessica leads a double life from her friends and co-workers in the children's wing of a hospital. Maya can't resist the temptation to explore an off-limits area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza but in the world of Five Nights at Freddy's, everything comes with a price to pay. Now, this happens a lot with new books, especially in FNAF it seems like, but people have already gotten their hands on the first book in Tales from the Pizzaplex. And I keep saying this, but hopefully I can get a video out before the book officially releases based on those early reviews of the book. And I will also try my best to make some summary videos of these books. The second book in the book series is called Haps. Have you ever wanted something badly, even though you shouldn't. Steve's dream of a video game programming career and starting a family led him to take a job that seems too good to be true. Aiden and Jace can't resist scaring some young kids in the tube maze of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. So hopefully now you realize that some stories directly connect to the Mega Pizzaplex, maybe even directly to the game lore we see in Security Breach. And all Billy wants is to become the perfect ideal of what he knows he really is, an animatronic. But in the world of Five Nights at Freddy's, be careful what you wish for. Tales from the Pizzaplex number three, Somnophobia, features our lovely dear friend, the daycare attendant. What are you running from? Sam is afraid of just about anything and everything that's unhealthy ever since his father died. Something about the Springtrap costume in the role-playing area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex chills Luca to the core. Okay, first off, number one, why would the Pizzaplex have a role-play section in it? And number two, why does it feature a Springtrap costume? Who wants to be role-playing as William Afton? And Grady's fear of being trapped in small spaces makes working as a Pizzaplex technician extremely challenging. But in the world of Five Nights at Freddy's, our deepest fears have a way of chasing us. Now, I've talked greatly about those first three books in previous episodes of Johnny Blocks here on the channel, so I'll leave them linked down below if you want to go see what my thoughts are, some possible theories about what the stories are going to be about in those first three books. But now, let's finally move on to the fourth book that just got revealed to us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Tales from the Pizzaplex entry number four, Submechanophobia. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a description for this book just yet. So we don't know what any of the stories are gonna be about. We just have this cover to go off of. And oh my God, this might be my favorite cover we've ever had for not only a Tales from the Pizzaplex book, not only Fazbear Frights, but probably even all the FNAF books. I freaking love this one. It looks terrifying. So if you couldn't tell, Submechanophobia, which I hope I'm pronouncing right, if I'm not, I look like a complete tool, is the fear of submerged machines underwater. I'm sure you've all seen images that show off this fear. The most popular one that comes to mind for me is one of the animatronics from Disney's uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride. It is terrifying. <laughs> Legitimately terrifying. So the fact that we're getting a FNAF story based off of this fear 
and this concept is is crazy to me and I'm all for it. And on the cover, you can see not only a submerged animatronic, one that looks, uh, you know, an awful lot like that animatronic from that 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride, but you also have a mermaid who would maybe is animatronic. I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell. It looks like maybe they're bleeding from their eyes. That could also be oil from the animatronic. Actually, I think they're missing an arm. So yeah, they have to be an animatronic. So you've got a destroyed animatronic, like dragon, sea serpent type character. You also have a damaged, like what appears to be a princess mermaid. And then you also have this terrifying scuba man coming down. I don't think that's going to be our protagonist. He looks absolutely too terrifying. So who knows? Maybe this could be a drowned worker who worked at this amusement park that had this ride similar to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and it has since been abandoned where all the animatronics and characters have been left to rot. They get decomposed. They're destroyed. Maybe our adventurer stumbles upon this amusement park. Who knows? Maybe it's a special version of the Mega Pizza Plex that has has a, you know, aquatic theme to it. It's all abandoned, they explore, they find these terrifying animatronics that chase them. Maybe they find the scuba man who's trying to kill them too. Seems like we've got a lot of threats in this story, but I am so, so hyped for it. The book comes out in December, I believe. December 27th, and I think I forgot to mention it. But the first book comes out in a few days on the 19th. The second one comes out uh, September 20th. The third one comes out November 1st. I just said the release date for the fourth one. I said earlier on in the video that a fifth one has been confirmed, and that is correct. It's coming out on March 7th of 2023. No title, no cover for that just yet. Who knows? Maybe it's coming pretty soon. Hopefully the uh, description for book four is coming pretty soon. Because as amazing as this concept is, you know, sub mechaphobia, as terrifying as these characters look on the cover, we don't know anything about the stories. But it really, really does have me so, so excited. I'm so glad we're finally getting, <laughs> you know, a story based off this fear. Because it's a pretty popular one, at least in the FNAF community. And especially since there was a lot of people who wanted a aquatic-themed DLC for Security Breach back when we thought, you know, it was called Chowda. And Ray McCaffrey was tweeting out about going to all these aquariums and stuff like that. People really wanted a aquatic-themed DLC. So hopefully... This can serve that purpose. This can fill our terrifying aquatic, you know, sized hole in our hearts with Security Breach and the Pizza Plex. Because these look absolutely terrifying. I, I cannot wait. So tell me, are you excited for Sub Mechaphobia, book number four in Tales from the Pizza Plex? What are you hoping the story is going to be about? What are your theories? How do you think this all connects to Security Breach? Like I said, I'd love to make a video going over some of the early reviews for Lally's game pretty soon because the book comes out. I'm kind of running out of time to make that video. And also, I do want to make some summary, you know, some proper summary videos about these books, uh, you know, when they come out. Because I started doing that with Fazbear's Frights, and then I completely stopped doing that. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back to that. But the books are definitely something we need to tackle on this channel because we have not done that a whole lot, and we need to get on that. But anyways, that's going to do it for this quick FNAF news video. Again, tell me your theories in the comments down below, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.